and welcome back to DXV today. Joining us right now in the studio, we have Xinhua. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yes, so this, I mean, you've been here with us before, so you're yes. no stranger to the DXV today set. Yes, so yes. thank you again for joining us. So I just want to know a little bit about what you've got coming up, because I know we were talking about Christmas earlier, yes. and obviously Christmas is a little bit of an underlying theme on today's show. Can you tell me any exciting stuff you've got coming up? Yes, absolutely. This Friday, December 15th, I'll be doing a special holiday concert at Toda. Okay. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it because this is my favorite time of year. I love all of the holiday music and all of the decorations and the lights and things. So I'm really excited to get to perform this show here in Dubai. Incredible. Now, I know you're going to be singing a little Christmas number for us yes. later. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about why you chose that song specifically? This particular song is called This Christmas. Yeah. And it's one of the songs that I grew up listening to by an artist named Donny Hathaway. And for me and my family, it's not Christmas until we hear this song. So it was actually uh, such an honor for me to re-record the song for my album, which okay. is called Waiting on Christmas. And uh, yeah, the song just brings back such great memories for me and I love singing it. Okay, can you tell me more about your Christmas album as well that you've got coming out? Yes, so well, actually this is, the album's been out for a while. This is the 10 year anniversary of this album. Oh, I wow, cannot incredible. believe that it's been 10 years because it feels like it was just yesterday. But that album was basically my, my dream album to do. I got to uh, perform some of my cra uh, favorite Christmas songs. I got to write some new Christmas songs, um, songs uh, about my family, about what Christmas is like, um, and even songs that are uh, a little deep about loss at Christmas time. Um, okay. So I wanted to create something that had something on it for everyone. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. So obviously Dina, Tom and myself were talking earlier a little bit about what we're going to be doing at Christmas. Can you give us a little insight to what is your traditional Christmas? Okay, traditional for me. So I have, oh gosh, I've lost count now. I think 32 nieces and nephews. So if you can imagine Christmas uh, with my family, uh, it, it's a pretty, uh, pretty intense event. My family's so large. Um, lots of food. Lots of gifts, lots of singing. Good, <laughs> and, all, all that good stuff. All of the good stuff, you know, <laughs> yes. Sounds fabulous. Well, we're gonna hear from you very shortly. I'm gonna leave you to set up. In the meantime though, we're going to check out Nimi's very interesting interview with a global humanitarian. Let's check it out. Guru Dev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar is here in Dubai for COP28 to talk about how spirituality and faith combine with making the world a better place. Guru Dev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar, welcome to Dubai One TV. Uh, first and foremost, how are you today? I'm doing very good as always. You know, it's so fantastic because every time I see you online, your photos, your videos, the number one thing I notice every single time is your smile. You are always smiling. Has that always been the case? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, COP28 is here in the UAE in Dubai. It is it's such a phenomenal event where everybody is, is you know, getting involved, uh, participating, educating themselves. Uh, one thing that you have been very clear about is that spirituality combines with the notion and the, you know, practice of climate action as well. And so I wanted to know from you, how do the two come together? How do they work together? See, today the biggest challenge in the world other than the climate, is mental health issue. Mm. One in every three person uh, is suffering from mental, uh, some type of stress or other. You know, when a person is stressed, he doesn't care for himself, he less he cares for the environment. Mm. So you need sensitivity to uh, care for en environment. For that, you need a robust mindset. See, world over today, uh, we don't care for uh, nature. We should start caring for nature. S cultures and civilization in the past have always honored nature, from the aboriginal tribes anywhere in the world to, to ancient civilizations. They've always honored nature. Okay, so I hear what you're saying, mental peace, mental hygiene. However, when we are consuming stuff like social media, there is so much noise out there, especially for the younger generation. Ultimately, I feel like they don't even know what their own voice is because they have so many voices around them. Uh, you know, sometimes you need to take 
take a step back and really think what are you consuming how much are you consuming are you digesting it or are you being consumed by information rather than you being an actor are you being acted upon this is what one has to look into in india all the engineering uh, students in the first year engineering in their induction program they learn about breathing about meditation so when they do this they can you know their personality will outshine they are able to manage the challenges in their life you know, there is relationship challenge there is lack of positive energy lack of motivation mm-hmm. and sometimes anxiety and fear the answer for this the remedy for all this is the kriya technique breathing technique Well, I am so honored to sit down with you and be in your presence. I already feel so much more positive and I'm going to be walking around with a smile on my face for the rest of the day. So thank you so much for your time. Okay. Thank you. So there you have it Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar telling us why it is so important to use meditation for our youth to understand how important it is to look after the environment. What a legend right over there. Thank you Nimi. Now guys, remember anything that you haven't seen on the show or you want to watch again, you can always catch it on our YouTube to buy one. We've got all the best clips and highlights right on there so you can always catch up on them. Yes, that's right, Dina. And if you want to check out what we're doing on Instagram, don't forget to follow us at Dubai One TV and use the hashtag #DXB today. That, my friends, is about that for another one branding sorted. All right, join us again tomorrow as we uh, will be coming together to discuss uh, year-end resolutions uh-uh, with the health experts themselves uh, for now who will be joining us as promised. It's time for a rather special performance as we play out with Shinwa. Good night. All the mistletoe I'm gonna get to know you better This Christmas And as we trim the tree How much fun it's gonna be together Yeah This Christmas The fireside is blazing bright We're caroling through the night and this christmas will be a very special christmas for me yeah whoa yeah presents and cards are here My world is filled with cheer and you This Christmas and as I look around your eyes outshine the town they do This Christmas the fire side is blazing bright We're caroling through the night and this christmas will be a very special christmas for me oh shake a hand shake a hand ah oh, yeah side is blazing bright you know that we are caroling through the night hey and this christmas will be a very special christmas for me whoa oh, yeah
hang all the mistletoe I'm gonna get to know you better yeah this Christmas and as we trim the tree how much fun it's gonna be together yeah this Christmas the fireside is blazing bright we're caroling through the night hey and this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me and this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me oh, 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 oh. Shake a hand, shake a hand now. Oh, 